Okay, so this time we'll do an endothermic two-step reaction. Okay, so that means that the products or the reactants will be very low and the products will be higher than the reactants. Two steps means two humps, right? Um, we'll make the second step uh, <coughs> the rate determining step. Uh, so, when we do that, so what does that mean? The second pump is going to be <coughs> bigger, right? Bigger. So, so you guys probably already drew this, right? You draw something that looked like that? Okay, so from here to here is called the what? Delta G. And is this going to be positive or negative? Positive positive. Why? Because A is lower than B, right? Um, what's this? So notice this one. EA1, right, or delta G double dagger 1, it starts from A and goes up to TS1. Okay? So that's, that's one that people always, they always want to start it here for some reason. Okay, so don't do that. This, and, and this valley is called what? I, or intermediate. And from the floor of that valley all the way to the top up here is going to be EA2, right? And this up here, TS2. And um, this, RBX. So notice I can draw it like this, or I can even draw it like this. You should be able to figure it out, right? If I do that on the test, you should be able to draw this whole thing, okay? Is everybody cool with that? Are there any questions? Could you change this to a two-step uh, endothermic reaction where the rate determining step was the first step? How would you do that? Like the yeah, one bigger. Yeah, just go like this. Okay. Maybe we'll draw that some other time. So, can I kill it? <laughs>